I'd like to call the meeting to order the statutory and regular session for July 5th, 2022. We will begin with the Pledge of Allegiance and the invocation. The Pledge of Allegiance will be given by Mr. Castello, and the invocation will be given by Mrs. Sponner. If you wish to remain seated, you may do so. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. As we start a new school year and new board members, let us all work together with community, staff, to do the best that we can for our students in Wetzel County. Let's work in a respectful way so that we can make the best changes possible. Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Our first order of business tonight is the administration of the oath of office. Mrs. Simmons will be giving, will be administering the oath of office to our three new board members. The first one that she will be administering the oath of office to is Dr. Rob Christian. I would like all three of you to come forward and stand right here. We'll do it one at a time, but I'd like all three of you to come up and then I'll take a picture afterwards. After Dr. Christian then, since we're doing it this way, we'll have Jimmy D. Glasscock and Christine L. Nice. That would be great. So we're going to start with um, Dr. Christian. If you raise your right hand and repeat after me, I state your first name. I, Rob Christian. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of West Virginia. And the Constitution of the State of West Virginia. And will faithfully discharge the duties. And will faithfully discharge the duties. Of member of the Wetzel County Board of Education. Of member of the Wetzel County Board of Education. To the best of my skill and judgment. To the best of my skill and judgment. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you. I state your name. I, Jimmy Glasscock. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of West Virginia. And the Constitution of the State of West Virginia. And will faithfully discharge the duties. And will faithfully discharge the duties. Of member of the Wetzel County Board of Education. As a member of the Wetzel County Board of Education. To the best of my skill and judgment. To the best of my skill and judgment. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you. I state your name. I, Christine Nice, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of West Virginia, and the Constitution of the State of West Virginia, and will faithfully discharge the duties, and will faithfully discharge the duties, of member of the Wetzel County Board of Education, of member of the Wetzel County Board of Education, to the best of my skill and judgment, to the best of my skill and judgment, so help me God, so help me God. Thank you. We have three new board members. All right, I'll take a few. One, two, three. One, two, three. Thank you. Congratulations. Yes. You're stuck now. I'd like to give my congratulations to the three of you on behalf of the county office staff and the, and the county school system. Thank you and welcome aboard. Thank you. Our first, our next um, responsibility here in this meeting is the election of president for this board of education. Do we have a nomination for president? I move that Mrs. Fonner be a candidate for president of the board. Okay. We have a nomination for Mrs. Fonner. I second that. Okay. No other nomination. Are there are there no other nominations? Okay. If not, do we have a second? Okay. <laughs> it has been properly moved and seconded. Um, to um, nominate Mrs. Linda Fawner as president of the Board of Education. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Mrs. Fawner, I am so happy to hand you this gavel. 
I'm happy to receive it. <laughs> <laughs> Nervous, but happy. Right. Okay. So our next order of business is the election of vice president. Do we have a motion for anyone for vice president? I move that Brian Castello be vice president. Is there anybody else? Okay, so we have a second for that motion. I'll second that. Okay, it has been moved and seconded. Um, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, motion carries and Mr. Castello is our vice president. Our next thing on the, item, on the item is the establishment of regular board meeting schedule. Uh, we currently have meetings twice a month on, on the second and fourth Mondays of the month. That is not a requirement. It could be done on different days or different amount of times. Um, do we have a motion as to how anybody would like to have the meetings? I would move for uh, maintaining the schedule that we currently have. Could we uh, amend the time to 6.30? Sure. You can amend yeah. the time. To, do we have you to, can discuss this all you want. This is for discussion. Do the second and then do the no, discussion? No, no. You, okay. can, you can talk about yeah. all kinds of things. Okay. I'm good with my day. It's just 6, 6.30. 6, I work till 6. If we could do 6.30, that would be would work with me. okay with me. Okay. So do we have a second then to if we amend what he said to 6.30 instead of 6? Do we have a second to that? I second that. Okay. So we have a, a motion and a second to have our regularly um, scheduled board meetings on the second and fourth Monday at 6.30. <clears throat> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Okay, motion carries. And it can be the time can be changed and the, okay. the day can be changed. If we need, yeah. If right. we need to, we I mean, need to. it's not right. like locked in stone. Right. Okay. okay, next on the board appointments, there are two year terms. Um, this is not a requirement of a board member, but that um, you know, certain people like to serve on different ones of these. Um, Mr. Castillo, are you interested in serving on Moftai again since you've been on it? Yeah, that'd be fine. If somebody else wants. Um, I mean, I'll be going in the same order here, but 4-H. <laughs> I kind of thought Christine might do that for us. Thank you, Mrs. Nice. Okay, um, wellness. I can do what, I can do either of the remaining two. You get, I'm not sure what they entail on, on wellness. Wellness is about once a month. Mrs. McPherson holds the meeting, and there are different people from throughout the county on it, and uh, discussions are done on what we can do for not just physical wellness, but mental wellness okay. with staff and students. What's the, the policy is just board policy or um, school county policy? Or? Okay. Policy committee is something that we started. We have policies in Wetzel County, but some of them haven't been reviewed since 1978 when they were made. So we are slowly, work, we've worked on it for two years now and we're probably a little over halfway. Um, and, and we meet and we go over, we have a lawyer look at them didn't make any changes with current things. Mm -hmm. um, they're met with the staff, they look over them, and then we come in and meet with um, Mr. Barkas and Mrs. Wells, and if there's anybody else, whatever the field is, to review the, you get the policy sent to you, you review them, then you come in and you discuss them. Then they're brought to the whole, it's not the final answer, they're brought to the whole board, and then on the whole board, um, we can still make changes or recommendations. It has to go through two readings before it's approved. So it's a, you know, it's a drawn up. So wellness or policy or it's up to you guys what you want. I've been on the policy for two years. I'd like to stay on it, but we had two people on it this past year. So there's no problem with that. I'll let Mr. Glasgow pick and then I'll so what do you want? I'll take, I'll take the wellness. Okay. And you're willing to serve on policy? Yeah, I can do that. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate that. Okay, the next item on the agenda is the annual review of Wetzel County Policy GCEB. It's in your packet. That's the only one that does not require, this is not a, 
up for a first and second reading. It's just the annual review. Mm -hmm. It does not require two readings. And when we're going to need badly this this school term. It certainly is. So what about? Oh um, yes. This is the one that is expanded use of retired teachers beyond their 140 days in current school year in areas of critical need and shortage. We have found out that since we are so short on substitutes that some retired teachers are willing to, to fill in the year if needed. However, with guidelines of their retirement, they were only allowed to do 140 days, but the state is allowing them to do 180. Although we still keep it posted, and if somebody certified the bid on it, then they would give it up. So do I have a motion to um, accept the annual review of the Wetzel County Policy, GCEB? So moved. Do we have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Um, Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Okay. Our next thing on our agenda is a delegation, and we have one delegation tonight from Mr. Chuck Clay. Um, since you guys are new on this, when we do delegations, the delegation is allowed to speak for five minutes, and we are not allowed to respond with any comments or questions or talking, and it's not to be rude, it's just by law. We can't have anything discussed that we don't have on the agenda yet. So we listen, and then we can put things on future agendas. Okay. So, Mr. Clay, if you'd like to speak. I want to thank you all for allowing me to come before you this evening. I want to take a minute to reflect on the current board members. Mrs. Farner, you have been dedicated for 36 of your life, years of your life to education of students, and now you're taking on the leadership of the board as a board member, a, a big step in, in an improvement and well needed. During those years, you've come to understand that education can be a difficult task, yet rewarding. If you all all you had to do was teach, it's a great job. Unfortunately, the ever-present shadow of politics compounds the difficulty of the job. Again, thank you for your service. Next, I want to thank Brian Castillo. I don't remember a time in my life I don't remember Brian being around somewhere. Somehow, he's been an ever-present part of Magnolia High School since, well, not since it started, but the dinosaurs were walking by <laughs> there. Brian is in his 49th years as being part of the system. He, more than any other board member or school facility, has dedicated himself to the students of the county. And for those of you who don't know, Brian can smile and laugh at Tonton sometimes. One more thing, if you get, if I can get Brian and you all to build me a, a new athletic stadium, I'd like to name it after Brian and put a big bronze statue out front of it so that he'll always be remembered. <laughs> Not a board member, but Mrs. Wells is the county superintendent. She is the center point of this organization. She answered first for the board and first for the parents of the students. If there's a problem, the parents point to her. And if the board has a problem, they also turn to her for advice, current recommendations, and hard answers. Ms. Wells has 36 years in education, a long history, and I'm sure she does the best she can with all situations. This is but a very difficult task. Not long ago, I reminded her of Harry Truman's words. The buck stops here. She has no doubt that the buck of responsibility weighs heavily upon her desk. I think these individuals need a round of applause for the job they've done and the one they're going to do. Today, Mrs. Farner and Mr. Castillo have three new members to work with, ready to take on the next four years. Do they know what's coming? I very much doubt that they do. Still, I believe each of them would have stepped up when asked and took the seat at the big table. We, the citizens of the county, hope these new members begin their terms of office with a clean slate of mind and no preconceived notion of the job. Now, it is unlikely they don't have some agenda item in their pocket. For each of them, something drew them into this job. They just didn't fall off the apple cart so I'm going to be on the board. Something drew them into this job. Maybe it was the big paycheck that you're going to get. Uh, don't smile yet, you, didn't get that. you aren't going to get a big paycheck. <laughs> I was only kidding about the money, and I will point out that when you feel good about something you have accomplished and worked hard for and battled for, someone will stop you at Walmart and explain you were totally wrong and you destroyed the future of your child. 
That's going to happen, and you have to take that with it. When at some point you wonder, what have I gotten myself into? Remember this. Uh, if you stay the course, rough times. At some point in your life, you have been on a certain jury, I'll serve on a jury. Uh, maybe you didn't like the looks of the person who you was on trial. You had tattoos, or long hair, you didn't like it. But still, you list, listened objectively, looked at the evidence, and didn't prejudge or other situation. Be objective, analyze the evidence, and don't let community ideals be the driving force. Every community and citizen believes the only thing important is my town, my school, my child, and, and what I want. I believe you and the county are at the crossroads of, in, of the school system. I would, I will tell you that I'm going to be at the crossroads and point you down new directions at every chance I get to. As long as it takes, I'm going to be somewhere pointing things. But, you, but if you're willing to venture down the left-hand road or the right-hand road, together, a great many of the county's residents, members of this administration, and teachers and school system you will find a lot of support. I have learned that in the last year in my research and things. There's a lot of support for looking forward, not the same road. Uh, let's call it reorganization. And there's a great many of us that hope that you are the answer to our, our future. But you also remember those are out there who are willing to stay the way it is. They like the way it's been for the last 22 years, and it's time to change. On behalf of myself and others, welcome. Hope there's a new future. And one more thing, if the lights fail to cross road and you don't know which way to go, there's always a nice, handsome policeman there. Well, I'll be there showing the way, but I won't be the handsome part. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Clay. Next on the agenda is superintendent's information. The only thing I have tonight is just to, to welcome everybody. Like I said, it's so good to have our new board members here. Uh, it's always bittersweet to lose the old board members, and it's just a, a real cause for celebration to get the, the new members, and it's nice to have all of you here tonight. Um, we came off of a very successful state conference uh, a few weekends ago, and I feel very confident that this group will definitely move the school system forward. So thank you all very much. Thank you. Okay, next item on the agenda, and the superintendent's recommendation. Um, under approval of minutes from the regular meeting on June 27, 2022. Do I have a motion to approve the minutes? Uh, I'll move for the minutes. Second? So moved. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Next item is personnel matters, retirements, professional resignations, professional personnel, service personnel, extracurricular, and leave of absence. Right. Madam President, yes. I think we need to separate this and let me step out of the room on the resignation. Okay, so we will pull out um, the resignation. Um, Daniel, is that correct? Yes. That's one. Okay. Um, we can meet on, let's do the others and then one of you step out and then we'll do that one. Okay. So looking under all those titles, except for the one under the one resignation, do I have a motion for approval of the superintendent's recommendation as outlined under personnel matters? I'll make the motion. I'll second it. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Okay, Mr. Glasscock, if you step outside the door, we'll have somebody let you back in. If he's still there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so under resignation, Daniel J. Glasscock, acceptance for resignation from position as football athletic trainer at Valley High School, effective June 22nd. Um, we have a motion to accept that resignation. Also move. Do we have a second? Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay. Motion carries. Under routine matters, request to attend Wetzel County Schools, authorization for the superintendent to fill vacancies, which is something that we usually do every year. 
because we have a lot of vacancies that will come up as we start filling positions and people may leave or whatever. And so Mrs. Wells will go ahead and make those decisions. However, we still have to approve them after she does, but that's to keep it moving. Okay, and let's see, and see a locally developed course, which is a course that's going to be offered at Valley High School, um, dealing with has the advanced of civics, pretty much. An advanced civics class yeah. called so, yeah. Social Problems 1. Is there going to be a Social Problems 2? We have not received a, we have not received a course request for that yet or okay. a course description for that um, yet. It would not surprise me since we did go ahead and number since Mrs. Byard Miss Byard went ahead and numbered it one. It would not surprise me that two would be in the works. But okay. right now we only have. One. And this is only going to be this class is only offered at this time. It's going to be at Valley. Yes, it is. Now, if it becomes a locally developed course and is approved tonight, other schools can offer it if they so wish. But we will let the board know if that is the case. And is this a higher grade level? Is this like a junior senior yes, class? Yes, this is. Okay. Right. This is the this packet that we received. That's that's the course, course description. Course outline, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Is there a textbook or any? Um, if any, there is, I have, did not see it on, on that course description. Okay. I have not seen it yet. Um, state law does require, though, that if there is a, a textbook, that parents have the right to come in and view all course materials at any time. Yeah, I'd like to know if, I mean, we could still go on with it, but I'd like to know if there was a textbook or an online site that they're going right. to be using so that we could actually review that also. Yeah, of course. I, I, I would like that as well. Yeah. Is course. this a semester or a year long? Year long, of course. Year long, okay. And it, it was, or it is, listed in the, in the state approved courses, correct? It is not. No, this is a course developed, locally developed course. Yeah. That's why it has to be approved by the board. Okay. If it was a state approved course already, we would not have to go through the board for approval. Somebody had just told me that it was listed as a possible course for counties to use, but there were no standards for it, in which she wrote the standards. I, I don't, maybe I'm confused. We have to have this approved by this board. Okay, yes. that's fine. I mean. Is this comparative to an AP class? Or is it is not an AP no. course okay. that I'm aware of, and it's not it's not been written as an AP course. Will the students get credit for this? Yes, high mm -hmm. school credit. Okay. Yes, sir. Elective social studies credit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Full, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Okay. In first semester, half second semester. Yes. Okay. Just one. I would move that we. How's this written? I would move that we approve the locally developed course, Social Problems 1, A World in Crisis, to be taught at Valley High School for the first semester of 22-23. That's all part of the routine That's all part of the routine matters. matters. Yeah. So also I, I, oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. I would like to approve. I'd like to make a motion that we, we just approve items A and B to strike out C until we, we see a textbook or material that's going to be used. So let, let's go ahead then under routine matters. Let's go ahead um, and I'll, I'll agree with you to pull those two out. Yeah. Um, do we have to do that as a motion? Okay. You make it as a complete motion. Approve the routine matters A and B, um, striking, striking C, C. Uh, okay. until textbook and routine online matters. materials is available. Okay. So I move that under routine matters that we approve requests to attend. Also, County Schools authorization for the superintendent to fill vacancies, and that we will separate out the locally developed course. You made that motion, so right. you're going to second, I'll second it. it. Yes, thank you. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, motion carries. Okay, now do we have to make a separate motion on locally or not? No, we're okay. So that item just is tabled. It's so tabled until we take okay. 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 the materials. Look, we don't have to make a motion to table or anything. Okay. okay. We'll wait on book and or and or. Course 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 That's good. Thank you. Okay. So on item ten, treasurer's report. It's the approval for the payment of the bills for the month of June of 2022. 
Um, and as stated, the invoices are available for review at the school's financial office. Um, do you have anything? I know we have the checks listed that we have. Is there anything else that, that Mr. Lancaster has? Nothing else was given to us. Nothing else was given to us. There's nothing like increases or transfers. Not at this time. So do we have to move on this? Mm -hmm. You, so move, you move on the payment of bills. We'll have that. The payment of bills. Okay. And mm -hmm. So do I have a motion on that? I move that we accept the treasurer's report for payment of bills. Okay. And do we have a second? Have a second. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carries. Mm -hmm. Number 11, second reading of revised Wetzel County policy. We have to do two readings for everyone. So we already had the first reading. If we passed it on first reading, so now we'll have the second reading. And it was a former policy that has been revised. Okay, this is policy EFAD-R, special use of school buses. How, do, how is this different? Do we know how this is different? On the last page. The Just last the last page. Yeah. Thank you. The highlighted in blue. Right. Anybody have any questions? Teresa, is there anything you wanted to explain? This is to just to clarify to parents and just so we have something in writing to back up what we're doing and what we're telling parents. We have a lot of situations where repeatedly parents are not there to pick up students at the bus stops. This puts some, some things onto their shoulders that require them to be there and um, you know, maybe give us some backup to enforce that. Protect our children. Yes. 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 That's safety's first. Mm -hmm. okay. We can talk about other parts of it though, right? Besides the revised, the blue revised parts? The rest of it is something that has already been passed uh, when you done the revised policy. The only thing I added was in the blue. You have already had the reading on the two. I don't know if you can do it or not, but that's the only thing that I added. The answer to that is no. We can't discuss the rest of it. If there's a, a revision, yeah. Well, this I, is second just, reading. Second, yeah. Well, the, the question is, I, it says, um, on the first page, under section two, it says in the middle of two, members of the Board of Education can transport students. Mm -hmm. So that's not meaning employees of the Board of Education, that's meaning us? Yes, that's what I mean. Mm -hmm. What it says. That's how it's been written in the past. I understand that, but is yeah. that kosher? Well, you passed it, so yes. Yes. Well, well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 wait a minute. But you know, when I was, was this, this, this is my thought. When I was, when I talked to the ethics committee about something in regard to something this a few years ago, they said that on, as a member of the board of education, you can be a volunteer. They like that. They like to see, but. You cannot volunteer for a position that would take away from an employee getting paid for that position. So we could not take over and say, oh, we'll drive students in the car if somebody else could be getting paid to do that. Like the bus driver. None like of us should be doing that. This is, I think this is yeah. more of a last resort right. situation exactly. for board members to be driving anybody. I mean, we don't mm -hmm. want to be locked into vehicles with students. Uh, in, in most right. situations, but you know, if we don't have a bus or not enough vans, sometimes everybody's got to pitch in to get the kids where they need to go since that's what we're here for. Yeah, we've had a only reason I bring it up in, in 50 years, I must have missed some place because they that was always no, they can't, but that's right there. That's right there. That's right there. <laughs> Been through the ringer. Right, it says <laughs> members of the Board of Education, mm -hmm. substitute personnel, non certified coaches may also transport students. Mm -hmm. The key there is may. Mm -hmm. It does not say will or that it's mandatory. Or shall, right? Well, or then, shall. Yes, thank okay. you. 
post level loan because it says also in there that in another section the bus operator's salary will be paid by the student or by the school. That's on the second page, um, number six at the top. I don't know if they, this is for obviously for the future, but that doesn't happen. The, the county has assumed the payment of bus drivers and everything. They have, but there have been times in the past that we've taken up money from students, fees from students to go on particular field trips mm -hmm. that are extra. Oh. And, 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 and that, that would to help That's the what it's referring to. And that okay. would help the school pay toward that. Okay. Yeah. So we've to. had, like in the past, uh, maybe Girl Scouts have asked, can we mm -hmm. have a bus to take us to Disney on Ice? Mm -hmm. And they've collected money from the students' parents mm -hmm. to, over cost, to cover those costs. Mm -hmm. So... That's what that would be. It doesn't happen often. Yeah. No, happen. occasionally. Okay. Sell, sell them. I just. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So do we have a motion? Well, wait just a second. Okay. Transportation of adult spectators. Does that mean that they like the uh, chaper up chaperones has to provide their own transportation, or any chaperone can? Ride any bus at all times. If they're a chaperone. If they're a chaperone for that particular purpose, for that particular trip, they are not just. If you're an approved chaperone, you just can't randomly get on a bus. And okay, so let's say that one of the football teams would have uh, go to the states, for instance, mm -hmm. and do we provide a bus for like the parents to? No, no, no. We do not. Is there any reason, reason why we don't? Because there's a lot, a lot of people, the parents wouldn't have transportation to go to Charles to the states or wherever it might be a reason. We t don't because first off, we have to make sure that all adults are approved by the board, and you know we would have to make sure that was the case. Second off, our buses are for the explicit, the expressed use of our student population, and not for transporting adults to events, unless they are sanctioned chaperones and have been expressly um, assigned that particular trip. I'm sure it'd have to do something with the insurance purpose. I'm sure it would. Yeah. Okay. We, we, we it, it's students. We provided spectator buses for students before. Well, we're allowed to do that. Well, yes. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. what I'm saying. With no problem at all. Right. right? That's, that's a common right. occurrence. But we've never, yes. in fifty some years, ever no. taken adults. Okay. If we would do that, does the board pay for for the bus driver? For the student stand, yeah. yes. Okay. And the fan bus. Fan bus, yes. Student stand. And yes. student kids are students are required to pay for their their ticket, except sometimes through the generosity of various individuals, some people pay for the students' tickets. Tell me how many people are going to go, and I'll buy their tickets. Mm -hmm. And the bus driver gets the ticket and the whole deal. Okay. Any other discussion? If not, then do we have a motion on the second reading of revised what's the county policy B E A D dash R. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll move to accept it. Second. Okay, any other discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Okay, number 12, board member committee reports. Well, since we're all new on here, and I, I, I can say that, that I do have on the policy, I can just report that, that Mr. Barkas has said that um, the next section that we're going to review will be coming soon. Mm -hmm. um, I talked with him today, and he wanted me to let you know that um, because that it's, it's about ready, but because of scheduled vacations and upcoming conferences it'll probably be the next meeting for the policy committee will be the end of the month okay. closer to the end of the month but it's near that's still soon yes very soon yeah that's good okay all right um, other items okay mr. cook do you have anything for the good of the order well you saw how many jobs we have available oh, when you come in the doorway all those Callers, beautiful callers out there are different jobs within the system. So 
And we all Not all teaching jobs, but there is a lot of jobs. So we're trying to, and two trying to fill those along with two principals. Two principals, right. two of our biggest schools. So and we always have surprises to come up in August. Yeah, we do. We always have yeah. that added ones. Okay. So we're kind of busy down there in person now. We will be all summer. Because we start no matter what in August. So the doors open and kids come. They're coming. That's right. So we got to get ready. Okay. Mrs. Stanford. I really do not have anything to say. Okay. Thank you. Mrs. Lloyd. Not that I know of. Okay. <laughs> and Mr. Doty. Uh, outside waterline work that started on the Baton City project. They've got rebar and stuff supposed to be delivered for the footers. Martinsville's K1 roofs are coming along. We ran into some rod issues, so we've got to change some station boards and decking. Uh, but that was all covered in the bid. They just gave us a price per foot, what they got to report on. Uh, new doors are being installed out at the tech center. We started those today. Other than that, just moving on. Mr. Doty, we thank you for your work this summer. I know it's like a, a, a race yeah. to try to get it done before we open in <laughs> August, so we thank you for that, definitely. Madam President, we have no other items at this time. Right, thank you. So then we'll set the date and time of the next meeting, which will be July. I have the calendar. There's be a lot of people out that day. There will be a lot of people out that's July 18th. That's the SREB. That's what I was going to ask. Do we want to alter the date? I, 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 you might want to consider that because many of us will be. What, 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 what is the conference date? The conference date is July 18th through the 22nd. So move it one week late this time to the 25th? That would be up to you work. guys. If you, the board, would so desire, we can do that. Well, I, mean, I know we just said one of our regular So in July, be. you have the third meeting is the, the third Monday so is the 18th. Mm -hmm. And that's the week of the SREB right. conference. Mm -hmm. Or the fourth Monday is the 25th. Or that would be the regular meeting, wouldn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, the fourth Monday would be. Because we statutory. normally have the right. second and the fourth. So the next regular scheduled meeting is, is the, the 25th. 25th. 25th, I'm sorry. So 25th. we're not intruding on that conference. You're not? Everybody can. Today was statutory, so we had to meet. Everybody statewide. can get over jet lag and everything like that. So we'll wait till July 25th for the next meeting at 6. If you so desire. Yeah, at 6.30 p.m. Yes. though. Yep. Correct? You yes. guys are well within yes. your rights. If you don't want to have a meeting in July, you don't have to. But... I will be on vacation that week, but <coughs> so we don't have to meet at six. He can miss my second one, but no. <laughs> <laughs> you, will you, will you be? Call in, though. You, you can in. call in. Yes, yes. Okay. From you the beach, man. That's yeah. right. Oh, wow. The only reason I, I would say, you know, let's just move it then into August. But with all the hirings that we've got to get done, mm -hmm. I think yeah. it's good for us to have it because if we fill some positions, it's going to open up others to get filled, so. I'm going to continue. The dominoes. I mean, you're not going to slow me down by not having Because you guys <laughs> approved this yeah. evening to, to allow us you to right. authorize them to yeah. fill any vacancies. That's true. That's I'm true. going to continue. But we'll give it that. But right. then we would have to sometime ex accept if no, somebody if somebody bailed out and stuff like that. That's the only thing I, that's the only thing I get kind of concerned about, was somebody slipping that, I'm sorry, I haven't got to retire. Something like that. That's yeah. it, it, which is well within their rights. Yeah, it right? is. But it's better in my mind it's better to have it on the record than not that we don't trust anybody. So the next meeting is the twenty fifth? Six thirty? Yep. Six thirty and the twenty fifth. Does anybody else have anything else to put before the board? If not, I'll take a motion for a judge adjournment. So moved. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Aye. Aye.